is the room tour for room 8133, an interior room here on the Holland America Wooster Island. Then one there. <laughs> so you come into the space and you have your queen size bed, traditional, the beds are together, you know how that goes. And this is an interior, but they give an illusion of maybe an ocean view or whatever when they put the little curtains up in the back. So I, I, I like that. I really like that. Both sides, they have nightstands on both sides. And let's go over here to this one. This one even has like a key so you can take it with you. You can turn it and take it with you if you want to lock something in here. They have USB ports here. And also behind the pillows, they have switches for the lighting for the entire room. Over here, they have a vanity. And there's also a pull out little ottoman that you can use for storage. They put the things in there that we did, we requested for them to take out for the mini bar. And they also have 115 of, of outlets for the US and also two 220 outfits for European uh, European outlets if you have adapters. They also have USB ports here as well. They have a small television here, but it's, it's necessary. You're not in the room that long. They also have one light. Now I found this um, one light to be kind of, mm, it doesn't give you, if you're trying to put your makeup on or whatever, this isn't a good space to do it in. You need to do it in the bathroom. Over here they have a table with a chair for seating. And here they have where you can shut the, uh, you know, and separate the space. Like if someone's dressing and someone's going in and out or whatever. So you can use the curtain to shut it. They have hooks here for your jackets and hats, lanyards, closet space, plenty of closet space. You can see they have a safe here, plenty of closet space, three closets, one. Second closet, they have the full lift mirror here as well. Shelving, as I said, plenty of, Plenty of closet space. And the third closet. It's a little dark here. Now the only issue I have with this room is that when you come in, as soon as you come in, there's really not a lot of lighting, you know, that I feel like the room should have. But it's decent lighting. It's just that, as I showed you in the last closet, it's kind of hard to see in there. Um, you can see, but it's kind of dark because they don't have a light like right over the door when you walk in the cabin. But, okay. This room also has a mini fridge. So you can put your items in the fridge. They also have this little, little nook on the side. And here it has a makeup mirror and it has a blow dryer. And the blow dryer has a European, has a European outlet, so it goes right in. And in there, you use. And it also has a makeup mirror for you to do your makeup. Which I didn't know. Like various glasses and also wine glasses as well. So if you bring your own wine on, you know, there's wine glasses here in the little nook. Is this something else? And the room also comes with a wine opener as well. Here's the here's the bathroom. And they do have the shower curtain. They have the Elemis products. Bath gel, conditioning shampoo. Now these are your normally seen on the spa level. Uh, state rooms on Carnival Cruises when you get the thermal suite included in your package here on Holland America this is the standard toiletry item they also have hand soap elements and elements lotion and I've used a lotion and it works for me they also have an area for you to put your 
toiletry items. Mirror. Your standard bathroom on cruise ship. They also have robes for you to use, which I really like. They do have laundry package options, like laundry by the bag is $35, unlimited laundry for seven days is $73.50, and unlimited pressing for seven days is $35, which is not bad for the press your or your stuff, you know, during the entire cruise. I didn't think that was bad at all. And they provide you the blue cloth bags for those. Here's the bag to put your laundry and dry cleaning in. So you just take the slip that's also um, in the closet and fill it out and put it in here for your laundry and dry cleaning items. The items that you get dry cleaned, they bring them back um, in plastic, like if you go to a traditional dry cleaner. So it doesn't come back in the bag if you're getting your items dry cleaned. They also have face masks, you know, for you to wear for your safety if you so choose to. And that was the tour for interior room 8133 here on the Holland America Booster Deck. Good morning, everyone. Hey, we're at brunch. This is the only sea day. This is the only brunch day. We're going to let you know what it tastes like. Yeah, it's definitely going to do that. gospel brunch I just showed you the menu sure not Q and I are gonna pick out a couple of items to taste we're gonna show them to you so the banana sauce the pancakes was really good the pancakes were light airy had that little crisp around the edge but for an appetizer that's just like a full a main meal I felt like they should have had like maybe dollar size ones I couldn't eat it all. I ate over half of it, but it was really good. The caramel sauce on top of it, the banana sauce, sauce with the bananas it was really good. That was, that was good. Seasoned very well, it tastes really good. But I can't rock with the grits. Okay, Q is the grits. He said that it's a no go for him, and he loves grits. He says he doesn't care for the tomato sauce with the grits. He does, he's not that type of person. He should he said they should have put them just on some butter and just put them, leave them on top without the tomato sauce. Okay, the Monte Cristo. I was really excited about it because I've had Monte Cristo sandwiches in the past, but this one fell flat. It's really like it's not crispy it's supposed to be like a deep fried sandwich and crispy and it's not it's really mushy and the bread is mushy and i cannot eat that so that was a fail it's eating, man. Oh, so i had the chicken and waffles the chicken was well seasoned that tasted pretty good like most of the chicken that's been on here the waffles really good it's like fluffy and real light I just wish it was better. So I had also I had the omelet, and that was really good. That was a Denver omelet. I had the peppers in there. That tasted excellent. So everything I had was pretty good. So I ordered the dessert for the C-Day brunch. I got the apple cinnamon corn. Um, crumble front. Uh, it wasn't good at all. So I got the carrot cake and it's surprisingly good. I thought it was gonna be really heavy, but it's not for carrot cake. It's it's not exactly light light, but it's not really heavy and you know weighed down by the nuts and everything. They have nuts and, and stuff in the cinnamon and everything. It's a really decent carrot cake. Take time. 
Joe Drunk. Tony Moore on drums. And Smitty Smith on bass. So Q and I are here at the autograph signing. Plenty of artists. We got this book. We're gonna have them sign where their picture is, and we're here. So this was an awesome part of the cruise to go around and have the different artists sign. The book that Dave gave us was absolutely amazing. Um, it was a part of the cruise that we really wasn't expecting to be this intimate with all of the artists and Q and I really enjoyed this. It was wonderful. How are you? Yes, 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 absolutely. I know, they're on the right path. Let's hope they stay there. I know. <laughs> I need to be my age. No joke. She not. Thank you so much. How are you? Good. All right. Oh, another lefty. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Elliot. How are you? Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, how are you, Candy? Hold on. I'm great. Hi, how are you, Sheila? <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Can, can, can you say hi, Beverly? My mother will kill me. Hi, Beverly. My mother will kill me. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we just showed you the first leg of our autograph signing. Everybody is so pleasant. Oh my gosh, just wonderful signing the book that they that they gave us. Thanks, Dave. And I didn't get my and book signed. I know he got a board. David gave us a board, like a cheese board, and Q used that to get the signature. So yeah. Hey, that was going on the back. <laughs> Is that <laughs> it? Right. I mean, they did what they supposed to do. We left the boy Bradshaw at home, man. What's that? We left the boy Bradshaw at home. Who are uh, uh, Jeff? Yeah. Uh, yes, we do what we do. How you guys doing? Okay, right. great. Appreciate yes, it. enjoying everything. We see you down there, Jeff. Again, having the opportunity to meet a lot of these artists that we always go and see and speak and talk to them was just an amazing experience for Q&I. Uh, this one is one for the books for us. Just a wonderful event. Hi. Oh, and I need a picture, especially both of you. You, because you're an educator, and I love it. You, because your song, um, for those who love the group, that was my favorite roller skating song. So. Those who like the group. Yes. Okay. That's a good picture. Yeah. Now everybody's gonna Hi Peter. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Good. Nice All right. I mean absolutely I mean nice to see you. Nice to see you always. It's hard not to, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you so much. See, the day told me to tell you, son. So, Q and I have gotten our autograph shop. This is something that we was not, we were not expecting this, but Dave gave us a book with all of the artists, and there's a session where all the artists sign the photo, you know, sign the autographs on a photo, and it's just been awesome. So, great meeting. I have my book. 
and Q has a got cheese some. board. Nope. I got a smile. I got a spank. He said a punishment. Oh my God. But look, he can't even get out. Look. You see that? All of the signatures of all of the artists that are performing here. And he said it's over 200 artists. I mean, this is just something that is just awesome. I mean, you have to really be here to experience this, right? right, right. And uh, the artists are so personable, you know. Um, it's just a really good vibe. We're having and a great time. Yes, we're having a great time. So. Congratulations to you folks and happy birthday, Suzanne. Birthday, Suzanne, and happy anniversary to George Parker and Cecilia Jimenez Labora. Nadine Hull is celebrating with Quinton Hull their 35th wedding anniversary. Well done to you folks. We hope to see you at our renewal of vows on day seven as well, celebrating. <laughs> Hey y'all, tonight is Dancing Through the Decades and you get to dress in whatever decade of fashion that you want to. And we are dressed in what decade, babe? We ain't messing with no sucker MCs. No, we not, cause that's whackness, boy. So you know, we is with the 80s all up and around here. So we gonna take you with us down there, but first we have dinner at the Pinnacle Grill. We don't know if they gonna let us up in here with this on y'all, but it is a theme night, so Girl gonna act like a fool if they don't. So we're gonna be go to good. the Pinnacle Grill. Yeah, it's the steakhouse here on Holland, Amsterdam. You know we're gonna show you what we get. We're gonna tell you what it tastes like, and then we're gonna party around the ship and dance to the decades. You no, know, that's right. Hey y'all. So this is my '80s outfit. You know I'm representing. I got my Kango hat on, my uh, Cool J T-shirt, my thick gold chain, my bamboo earrings. I ain't got your pad on y'all, but I got one. My Adidas. Yeah, a little.
So Q and I have been seated there in the Pinnacle Grill and we have placed our order. Now we ordered the Jumbo Lump Crab Cakes. You already know why. You know why we ordered them. But I left my special seasoning up in the room. So let's hope I don't need them. But at any rate, we'll see. And we both got the ribeye, medium well, cream spinach. I got mashed potatoes. Q got french fries. And I got a mustard cognac sauce on the side. I want to see what that tastes like. And for dessert, we got key lime pie. So we're going to show you what we get. We're going to definitely let you know what it tastes like, especially those crab cakes. <laughs> No, y'all heard that call. Be safe in these cruising streets. Mm. All right, y'all, from the first bite, I gotta take off all my mini glasses for this one. From the first bite, this ain't it. Mm -mm, this ain't this ain't the one. Mm -mm. It has a like pine coat outside coating. And on the inside, it might be. It Why do I keep punishing myself, y'all, with these crab cakes? Might be clawed. It might be clawed. Not really sure. You can see. See that? See that, right? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. See that? Breaking it open. Shut up. Mm -mm. This this ain't it. You see that? You see that? Mm -mm. No. 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 So this is my steak, medium well. It has the onion rings on top and the mustard cognac sauce on the side. Q got the same thing. Ooh, spinach, cream spinach, and the mashed potatoes. <laughs> so, the key lime pie is really good. It has a nice silky texture. The graham cracker crust is really holding up well. Um, I can taste that tartness of the lime. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. And it has a nice dollop of whipped cream on the top with um, a zest of lime and it's it's a pretty decent key lime pie
steakhouse. Mm, I didn't like it. It, it was not the best. Um, you don't have to worry about a threat carnival or Royal Caribbean. The pinnacle here on Holland America, the, on the Ooster Dam was not, it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. The um, crab cakes, you know we told you about them. They was terrible. It was a piece of shrimp tail in one of them. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is this? They just mixed up something. Yes. And, said, All right, and had a pine probe. It was not good, y'all. You know, y'all know we, I ain't, get, I ain't bring my, my you special ain't need seasoning it. and stuff. I don't think that could have helped that. Do nope. you? No. Okay. The steak itself. Mine's had a lot of fat on it. And I kept taking it out. Like, I'm not trying, I'm trying to get nobody to come over here and do the homelick on me. It was actually, what piece was it? It was a, it was a ribeye. Right. And it had, it a was. A boneless ribeye. Yeah. I mean, it, it was a nice cut. It was a it. nice cut, but it was kind of fatty. And My, I got mine's medium well. Mine was okay. Mine's was, mine wasn't as fatty as yours, but the taste wasn't that. And no seasoning. No, it ain't taste like it had salt and pepper on it. Yeah, it did. It did just, yeah, it didn't, it didn't taste like it. So I asked for some steak sauce. And yeah, and they gave them the H, that one that's that, that's from London. Tastes taste like, like ketchup. Yeah, it's like a tomato-based um, steak sauce. It's and not A1. Not good at mm -hmm. all. And I got that mustard cognac sauce, and I think it was just that <laughs> juiced up with something. But it was not good. I didn't like that either. And um, the cream spinach, it would have mm. been okay, but you know how the spinach have like stalks on you gotta be careful well while i was eating it i was eating it so hard because i was like them stalks ain't slipping down my throat and again <laughs> somebody gotta do the homelick on me so i was like real cautious eating that cream spinach you know had too many stalks on it you know it from, did. didn't it yes yeah um what else we had uh the, i had french fries with yeah mine, and so. i had mashed potatoes and they were good I, that's the only thing good. Mm -hmm. The mashed potatoes were good. And the french fries. Yeah, and then for dessert, we both had key lime pie, right? That was good. That was good. It was nice. It was creamy. I liked the uh, graham cracker crust. It was nice and sturdy. It held up to that that creamy uh, cheesecake. And right. you could taste the, the tart, you know, lime in it. It was good. Okay, the dessert was good. Right. Um, But overall, I don't ever have to go to the Pinnacle Steakhouse again on on, on Holland America Usenem. I'm being really honest with y'all. Nope. Okay. It's a, no for it's me. a one and done for us. So this was the C day. And today was a day where we got to meet the artists. It and was I, a scavenger hunt. It was hunt. a scavenger hunt. Like <laughs> go around and see how many artists um autographs you can get. And we, I really didn't know that this was gonna happen. So when they gave us the book. Actually they had it planned in the book. Yeah they did, yeah. but we, we didn't pay attention to it y'all because I thought it was a book with blank pages and I didn't know it had a whole itinerary in it. I did not. So when I look and I said, oh, so when we went up there, I mean, they were all lined up. It was very orderly. You know, um, all the artists were there. I know you saw them and the, you know, I did a like, a, I had to do a quick little, um, you know, video of every artist that signed the book. I mean, they were so engaging. Yes, I mean, was. they were so personable. I mean, a lot of people that we've seen numerous yes, times and we got to like chit chat with them. I mean, they was like, don't hold conversations, don't take pictures, but you know people's taking pictures. They started talking they to us. They were talking to us and we were talking back to them. So you know, you that line, it wasn't really a long line. You know, we went to we, four different things. We got venues. put out the line. We got okay. put out the line. Him talking about Sheila E. Talking about I got a tattoo. He shows Sheila E. His tattoo of the 49ers on his arm. Because, you know, she from Oakland. And she a 49er fan. And she was like, ah, oh, VIP. And he just <laughs> loved that. And then Line of Love and stuff. And it was really nice. I mean, everybody was like, Dave. And our girl, Mesa. Uh, yeah, Mesa. Oh, yeah. Homegirl. I mean, everybody was so personable. We really loved yeah. that. I really... I really enjoyed that. That was a good day. It, it was. was. It overall, it was a great day. It was a great day. Yes. It was. It was. We had a, a wonderful day. Yes, a wonderful sea day here. And tomorrow we're going to be in Casablanca. Okay. North Africa. Yes. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when we post that video. Once again, thank you guys for all the support. And we will see you on our next adventure in Casablanca. Peace. Peace.